I was fortunate enough to have uh, all four of my grandparents in my life until I was 35 years old. And um, yeah, and I know that's a, a gift that not many people get. And this is a song about two of them. My grandfather was a businessman, built a grocery store with his brother, and he taught me the value of a dollar. Back before I was born, he won a boat, got second place selling ivory soap, so my daddy grew up on the water. He couldn't use a hammer or a wrench to save his life, but I've never seen man do better by his children and his wife. He would wrap his arm around me in that old country church, sing those bass and baritone harmonies like I had never heard, baptized in the water. That was my grandfather. My grandmother made a house a home. She wrote a poem for every one of her children. She knew her way around the kitchen. But she worked every day in that business too. And she kept it running like you're supposed to do. She was a beauty. All four foot eleven. She would write folks letters on the backs of old greeting cards. She would read to me from a yellow book of stories that I've still got. She couldn't wait for me to bring her home some little country girl, but I never did. The last thing she said to me was keep singing for the Lord. Could never love another like my grandmother. She said, love your children. Worry about the big things. Let the little ones go. He said life is one big shot out of a bow and arrow. You better aim it right, son, before you let it go. Oh, my grandmother was nine months younger than my grandfather. The Lord looked down and said, that poor boy is going to need some help. They met each other in a five and dime and spent 73 years side by side. And she followed him three weeks after his last breath. She said, love your children. Worry about the big things. Let the little ones go. He said, life is one big shot out of a bow and arrow. Better aim it right, son. Before you let it go, baptized in the water, that was my grandfather. Could never love another like my grandmother.